can see by the title, this video is going to be about nursing school. And the particular nursing school that we're talking about is Galen, Galen College of Nursing. Yes, it is a new school that is going up everywhere, all around the world. I'm sure you guys have seen the commercials or the ads on YouTube about it. Well, guess what? Your girl is in the school. So this YouTube channel is going to be strictly on giving you guys information about the school, how to get in the school, the classes you'll have to take, labs, clinicals, tests, test prep. I'm going to take you guys through the entire journey. So stick it out with your girl. But anyways, this video particularly is going to be about the school, background on the school, information about the classes, and all the stuff that you'll need to get into clinicals. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and your girl's going to walk you through it. Okay, so right here you guys can see that this is the associate's degree in nursing, which is a two-year option or 24 months full-time at Galen College of Nursing. This is their curriculum plan. Um, you see the course numbers and the course titles, and then of course on the right-hand side you can see the lecture lab, clinicals, and then the quarter credit hours. So we're just going to go quarter by quarter. So in the first quarter you have Human Anatomy 1, that is lecture and lab. That is just a basic anatomy course that's going to go every go over everything that you need to know about human anatomy itself and physiology itself. And then, of course, you have two classes that are going to be essential to the college itself. Every college has those classes. We all have been there. We all know. <laughs> so the first class is going to be the Information Literacy and Technology Essentials course. That is a lab course but it's kind of a lecture course as well um it basically just teaches you everything you need to know about using a computer as well as other ways that you can come up with shortcuts and how to use different types of applications on a computer more efficiently per se and then you have the galen pathway to success that is just a class that is going to be for the program itself it is just going to teach you ways to time management um, how to have efficient study practices how to go over your medical terminology and better ways to learn them as well as teach you some of the medical terminology that you will use when you start going into your nursing specific courses so in quarter two you have human anatomy and physiology which is lecture and lab that is human anatomy and physiology too um, it's just going to be a more in-depth version of the first one you took in quarter one and then you have college mathematics that's just going to be your basic college algebra course all of us have taken it i'm sure or if you're going to take it it's not as hard as it seems just find good ways to study it make sure you remember all of your formulas and you will be just fine then we have the developmental psychology that is just a basic psychology course it's like one of the courses you can take after psychology 101 um, it's just going to go over all the different parts of psychology and how it affects us on our day-to-day -day basis as well as some background information about psychology and where it was formed and then it'll go over developmental part of psychology as well and then you have the first course into your nursing courses, which is going to be that introduction to professional nursing. That class is just a lecture class. It is just going to give you background information about your scope of practice, things that you can and cannot do. Um, you'll go over many things about nursing itself and some things that people have done in the past that have got them in trouble and also some things that they have done that have been tremendously helpful in the nursing field. So in quarter three, you have microbiology for healthcare professionals. That's just going to be a microbiology class that's going to teach you all the things about microbes, pathogens, bloodborne pathogens, all of the fun stuff that we have to deal with on a regular day basis as nurses. And it's going to give you all the information that you need to know about how to stay safe in those situations and how to keep your patients safe because patient safety is our goal. And you're also going to have Foundation of Nursing. Now, Foundation of Nursing is going to be a course that is going to go over everything there is to know about nursing. It's going to give you background information. It's going to give you information about your scope of practice, information about the ways that they developed nursing and how it's transformed over time, and how you can be successful in the nursing field when you become a nurse. 
So in quarter four, we have principles of pharmacology. That is the infamous class that everyone is always anticipating, including myself. This class in particular is going to go over all of your medications and they're going to break it down and make it as easy for you to understand and also give you information about the pros and cons of the medication, when you would administer it, how you would give it to the patient, different routes that you can give it to the patient, how long it lives in the body, the lifespan of the medication, and everything else there is to know about pharmacology. The other course that you're going to take in quarter two, I mean in quarter four, is going to be the concepts of medical surgical nursing. Now that course, I have been told, is quite a difficult course. I have not actually gotten to that course myself, but I am looking forward to it. So basically, from the description of the course, it is going to show you the ins and outs of nursing. You will have clinicals with that course. So you're going to get to experience everything there is about nursing when you first get in there. And that course is basically just going to give you a broad understanding of what nursing is about. Um, we all know that med surge is one of the most important floors in the hospital. Some people would disagree with that, but that's just the reality of it. Um, and so that course is going to give you a very good background of what you're going to be looking at when you get into your field. In quarter five, we have concepts of nursing, and it's going to be specifically focusing on the childbearing and child caring family. This course right here is going to be with the babies, um, mother baby units, labor and delivery, NICU, all of the fun little teeny tiny stuff that goes on in the hospital. That's what this particular course is going to cover. And the aftercare and pre-care and during care for mom and baby. So the, this particular course right here is one of those courses that people look forward to. Um, I personally am also looking forward to this course. I love working with babies and this course is exactly what that is all about. It's going to help you encourage everything that you've learned from your previous courses into this course considering you're going to be working with adults and children, very, very young children for that matter. And it's also just going to help you get a better understanding of what it's like to work in that particular field of nursing. And then you have intro to sociology. The intro to sociology course is going to be a course that kind of just teaches you the ins and outs of everyday life. It gives you a little bit of background information about sociology and where it was developed, how it was developed, who are the people who came up with it, and how it interacts with the nursing field itself. In quarter six, you're going to be looking at the concepts of mental health nursing. That is going to go over everything in mental health from the good stuff to the bad stuff and everything in between. Mental health is a very sensitive topic. It's also a very important field in the nursing program, considering everyone needs mental health support no matter what they're going through in life. So that course is going to be very informative for any future nurses who are looking into going into the healthcare field. And then, of course, you have the concepts of aging and chronic illness. This is going to go over things like hospice, long-term care facilities, and your ins and outs of your scope of practice with these types of patients. It's also going to go over ways that you can tell this information to patients, ways that you can make them feel better while they're in their journey and help them through the entire process. Quarter seven, we're looking at applied ethics. Of course, the ethics course is going to go over your do's and don'ts, right from wrong, what's ethically right and what is ethically wrong. Of course, we all know that any harm to the patient is wrong, but if you do something that was not supposed to amend harm to the patient, then that's where your code of ethics comes in, where you do what is best for the patient because that is what our job is. And we have advanced concepts of med surge nursing or medical surgical nursing, which is going to just be a more intense version of the medical surgical surgical nursing course that we took in quarter four. It's just going to really give you more in-depth information and practices while you're in clinicals and labs on what nursing is all about. And then last but not least, we have quarter eight, which is our leadership and nursing management course and our transition to registered nursing practice. Those two courses are together for a reason, and they're mainly together because 
you're gonna have to learn how to move around as a nurse not really depend on someone else to help you when you are confused when you become a nurse you have to take everything that you've learned and put it into real life perspectives because you're dealing with real people so that's what these two courses are going to be about it's also going to take you from having an instructor there to give you the answer all the time to having an instructor there who's just going to ask you what would you do in this particular situation and kind of guide you along not so much as give you the answer or tell you what you should have done in this particular instance instead they're going to let you try to figure it out and then if before you make a mistake they'll stop you and correct you and tell you this is what you should have done Hence why it's in the last quarter, because that's when you're about to graduate. So that is the entire layout for the curriculum plan for the associate's degree in nursing at Galen College. Okay, so right here you can see the general information courses, the nurse education courses, technology fee, lab fee, clinical fee, your books, your registration fee, and your background fee. All of those are going to be things that you will have to pay for before starting school. It gives you a pretty good background of all of the cost for each individual thing that you'll have to pay for. The books, I do want to point out that that is for all the new books. You can buy used books, which is what I did and what most people will do because it's just a lot cheaper. Um, the registration fee you'll have to pay when you do your registration with the registrar and then your background check, you'll have to do that one as well. The general education courses, it is 400 per quarter credit hour so you can kind of do the math on how much it's going to cost when you look at how many quarter hours you have each quarter and then the nurse education courses same thing you can pretty much do the math by looking at how many credits you have each quarter the technology fee is per quarter the lab fee is for the classes that you only have labs I mean for the quarters you only have labs in and then the clinical fee is only for the quarters that you have clinicals in so that's pretty much it as far as the things that you will absolutely need. Some other things that you'll have to look into are things like a wristwatch, um, a stethoscope. I would definitely get a stethoscope case as well. You're going to need pin lights and surgical scissors. And then they're also going to want you to have a blood pressure cuff. Um, that is something you can get most of the time from the school, but you can order it off of places like Amazon or eBay, usually for cheaper. You can also get scrubs from the school as well you will have to get those but you don't have to get those right away that's something that you can get right before you start clinicals i would definitely wait on those they can get pretty pricey and because you have to get them from the school you can't buy outside scrubs so the price is kind of set in stone but that's pretty much all the fees that you'll have when you're looking into starting the school the wristwatch and stethoscope and all that stuff you can wait on until right before you get ready to start doing clinicals and labs because that's when you'll have to actually have that stuff on so you can just hang out and chill until then so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you guys enjoy the video I hope everything in the video is very informative to you guys. For anyone who's looking into joining the school, I hope you guys got some information about it before you get started. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box. I am going to be posting videos about my entire journey, so I hope to see some of you guys go through it with me. Always remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you'll be the first ones to get my videos when I upload them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!